There's so many interesting things happening right now, and one of them is kind of like uh, this internet explosion where we're all connected. Yes. And, and what the effect of that is is that uh, the major networks are kind of breaking down. In other words, who wants uh, the great big show, and actually, who wants to put on the great big show because it costs millions and millions of dollars a week, and uh, they're just can't, there's just it doesn't support itself anymore. And so I think that maybe even uh, the old time teaching when the when the big guru was up there is breaking down also, because all the protocol around him you can't really get close to him. Uh, you know, uh, there's definitely uh, what what do I want to say? There's there's an expectation, and there's an expectation even if it's not his fault, you know, or her fault. There's an expectation on all the people that come to him that I'm going to get something. I'm coming here to get something. And believe you me, there's an expectation on his part that he's going to give something, you know, because uh, he just doesn't have a chat. And if you ask a bunch of stupid questions, you know, he'll move you on or, you know, talk to somebody else. And uh, so that it's very orchestrated. So that whole system uh, is a belief in separation before it even starts. And so I think that that has to, you know, now that we have, you know, okay, let's just say it this way, that before... There was no other way, you know. Uh, how could some one person talk to millions of people? And of course, they uh, can't. But somehow, uh, on the internet, we can we can appear, we can have a conversation just one on one, and not uh, from the grand to the to the small. And somehow, it can be put in another way where uh, where we are all just. Uh, the same or you know that reflection of the of oneness and that it can it can be evident that we can just see it there is a knowing inside of all of us if we stop this external and take what comes to us say from the internet and what is that resonance it takes us deep inside if we will stop the the word exchange and go deeply into what is being experienced and what do we run into we always richard run into the same thing we we run into oh there is something experiencing there is something experiencing there are things to be experienced objects but whoa all of a sudden again and again we go back and we find the same subject the same thing is experiencing this moment as is experiencing the next and then the next. And here comes the excitement. Whoa, what is that? What is that? And it doesn't, it doesn't come up as a philosophical question. It comes up as a noticing of, you know what? I feel the same, even though I feel differently. There is something the same here and then the same there. And as the Internet presents us with all this wonderful, wonderful differences and wonders what is it that pulls you deep inside that then releases you into the place where you just know wow uh, wow it's it's just like ah uh, the relaxation of knowing that you are always what you are mm -hmm.